This is a not way into the future. I'm trying to get this uh, get it fixed so we can win the losing football game. After he came off the field, Michael came off the field when uh, it was near the goal line. He decided to throw it into the end zone instead of running in down there in the fourth period. Uh, came back to the sideline. What did you say to him at that point when he came back in? And, uh, his decision not to run it into the end zone. Well, you got to you got to learn from it, forget about it, and move on. That's what you do. And uh, we we still had a lot of game left. We felt like we were going to get the ball back, which we did. And um, you know, just uh, get yourself right on on, on going. He, you know, he did what he thought was right a, a split second. We'll score it there, and hey, we're, we're right back on it. We're right back on it, and we uh, score the next time. What went into your decision? Center, or you? Yeah, I'll have, uh, it looked like Mike did a decent job. I, I'll have to, uh, you know, I thought they actually did a great job, but I, I've got to look at the tape on it. It's too hard to <clears throat> see that, but right now it would be Mike. What went into the decision to go and start using the, the timeouts at five plus minutes left in the game? Yeah, that's just what we, what we do there. I mean, <clears throat> hindsight, it was still a good idea. I think mean, we had a, we had the right thing. Um, you know, it was the right strategy. We just didn't get it done right there. Andy, you, you go with seven offensive linemen up, and obviously Jamal got hurt, and then Jason went in for a bit there. Um, I mean, what's the how how, how uh, much will you rethink that? Maybe going with eight guys, and what do you do next if somebody gets nicked? What do you do there? I'm a run in. I, mean, I don't know that. I mean, you know, it's, uh, hopefully, it doesn't come down to that. But we were short in a couple of you know, It's a little bit like the fullback position. You, you've got you to make do and, and um, with the numbers the way they are. You can't obviously you can't get everybody up that you need to. But that's uh, that's how it works. You had six cornerbacks. Um, Jordan Cowden uh, did return two of the punts. Uh, uh, that's what he was. He was there to do that and play special teams. So uh, I wasn't sure exactly, uh, you know, how we would, uh, you know, when, when or how we would use him uh, during the game. On that, I just had a little, a little bit of a feel on how Hobbs held up and how Deshaun held up. But both of them uh, were able to make all the opportunities that they had. And, and yeah, I know, I know Bradley answered the right questions on the sideline. Staggers like a boxer and falls over like that. Does it set off alarms? Is it? Yeah, our doctor is in our, our training room. So, bottom line, it was he, he ended, up, ended up taking him out. Yeah, it was obviously a rough day for Kevin. Um, from what you know about him, how will he handle this? Yeah, he's going to be fine. I think, I, I think uh, we all had a, a piece of that. And, uh, yeah, it's important that we, uh, you know, we all have a piece of that. And it's important that we, you know, like I mentioned before, I, I've got to make sure that. Put all of them in the right position. You know, we missed a couple of throws, we got too much pressure, and so on. Or actually, some of the calls were, were not the right calls for, for what we were saying. So um, that's uh, my responsibility to make sure that I do a better job. And Deshaun and, and, and Brent weren't really factors for the first three quarters. Was it what they were doing defensively, the protection? Uh, Well, there was a little, again, there was a, at the beginning of this game, offensively and, um, and penalty wise, we, we just, things weren't clicking. And um, you know, whether they had us covered or doubled or pressure or you know, a variety of things that were happening there, it just wasn't, it wasn't meshing. The guys didn't need to battle through it and work it out, and we did that. And, uh, Andy, as, as soon as, Michael went in in the second half. I mean, it looked like everything worked better. It looked like guys were protecting better, guys were making plays. Uh, I mean, are you saying it's just a coincidence that as soon as Michael went in, things started working? Well, there wasn't quite as much, uh, quite as much pressure. Uh, it didn't look like. Uh, and then Michael took off and ran a couple times and had big plays there. And, and um, then we had to fumble, and so things got slowed down there. But you know, it's a matter of everybody doing their job. And, uh, me included in there, doing a better job. I thought we made some decent adjustments at halftime for what they were for what they were doing. Uh, my responsibility to make sure we do those sooner uh, as opposed to, to later. Okay.
locker room is open. We'll try to get in there. Can we get Rick Burkholz in there, do you think?